and all three teams are quick to start. The mixing bowls are out and the competition is heating up. Hopefully, so are the ovens. Team 1, Sean and Emma, are making delightfully shaped homestyle cookies. Team 2, Niamh and Allison, are making a heavenly chocolate cake. And finally, Team 3, Holly and Abby, are making a hippo delight cake. It seems that Niamh has decided to take matters into her own hands, replacing Team 1's carefully selected cookie cutters with random shapes. We must consider how this may affect Team 1's chances. Team 2's cakes are first into the oven, giving themselves plenty of time for decorating. Here comes Team 1's revenge. Distraction is the name of the game. And Emma has turned down Team 2's oven. Let's hope they notice in time. After careful checking, it seems Team 2's cakes aren't ready yet. I wonder why. Team 3's cakes are going into the oven now. Let's hope they've greased those tins. And finally, Team 1's cookies, albeit a different shape than they had planned, have gone into the oven. It seems that sabotage is catching, as Team 2 takes Team 3's rich tea biscuits, an essential part of their decorating plan. Team 3 are not going to take that lying down as Holly swipes some of Team 2's decorations in revenge. And it seems Team 2's cakes are finally done as they move on to the decoration. Chocolate sauce and Cadbury's fingers are carefully applied adding jelly worms and may I say a fabulous picture of Alison. It seems that Abby from Team 3 has another trick up her sleeve, replacing Alison with Shrek. It's too late for Team 2 to fix this now, they'll just have to roll with it. Team 1 are also onto the decorating portion, trying to salvage their shapes with chocolate sauce and sprinkles. It seems that Neve is not leaving anything to chance as she smashes Team 1's cookies. There's no time to fix it as the judges are on their way. Our two judges have a tough job ahead of them and Miss Carol, as the most knowledgeable judge, will be tough to impress. And it appears that Emma is unhappy with the judge's decision and decides to move the first place ribbon to her own table. Tune in next week to see how this all plays out.